hydraulic torque um, if you remember we develop hydraulic power we can also develop equation to calculate uh, torque in a hydraulic system to calculate that uh, let's start with the equation the power equation we know that uh, power can be calculated by the rate of work which is uh, work is force times distance by t and then work and then uh, force time distance is basically work per t or we can write x by t is velocity so fv that is the equation to calculate power now the linear velocity we can write that instead of v we can write 2 pi times the n um, times the r so the linear velocity v is omega r and omega is 2 pi times the frequency r per minute and then the r is the radius so we can write f times r uh, and then uh, 2 pi and we can keep like that so f times r which is if you have a situation like this and then you apply some force here and then the distance is r then we can say the torque can be calculated as um, t is equal to force times the moment arm or distance like that so we can transfer this equation to something like torque 2 pi and then n now we can write this power equation uh, like this pq is also power hydraulic power we can correlate this with uh, hydraulic power so now we can um, we can convert this q if you remember before q is the volumetric displacement every rev every revolution of a pump the amount of fluid displaced times the rpm so you can write P, uh, VD, and for Q, we can write VD times N, which is equal to 2 T, 2 pi times N. N cancel out from both sides. So we can solve for T. That gives us um, the P times the volumetric displacement divided by to pi so this is the equation to use um, to calculate the torque we can say hydraulic torque uh, there is nothing different um, with the regular torque like f equals you know t equals uh, torque equals force times distance it's the same thing the reason why we call hydraulic because we are using pressure times the um, uh, volumetric displacement so if we keep uh, let me write down hydraulic torque. Uh, so if we keep the unit, for example, uh, T, uh, we will come in pound inches. If we keep the pressure unit in PSI, pound per square inch, and then volumetric displacement is inch cube. Typically, it is inch cube per minute. However, uh, inch cube per rep, sorry, inch cube per revolution but people really don't say that way it's so common so they just say inch cube which implied like every revolution is kind of implied so um, if you keep everything in usual unit u.s customer unit or english unit it will come in pound torque will come in pound inches so that's the equation to calculate hydraulic torque